Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, longest ideal subsequence. The problem states that you are given a string S of lowercase letters and an integer K. We call this string, we, we have to form a string T out of this string S such that T is a subsequence of S and every adjacent character of T should have a difference less than equals to K. For example, uh, and we need to find out the longest such T that exists in this S. So for example, if S is ACFGBD, we can form a T such that ACBD. Now you can see with, with ACBD, both these conditions are satisfied. How in ACBD, first of all, ACBD is a subsequence of ACFGBD. What happens is we remove F and G from here and that's how we formed ACBD. So it is actually a subsequence of ACFGBD. So first condition is satisfied. Second condition, the absolute difference between any two adjacent letters should be less than equals to K. What is the difference between character A and C? It is two, right? And two is less than equals to two. That is that satisfies. Uh, what is the difference between C and B? It is one. One is again less than equals to two, satisfied. What is the difference between B and D? Again two, which is less than equals to two. So all the two con both the two conditions are satisfied. Hence, ACBD is a valid T. And you can see that you will not be able to form a T which is less, which is greater than this four length. This is this ACBD is a four length, so you can try all possible subsequences and you will not be able to find out a valid subsequence which is of greater length than this four. So that's where answer is four. So hope the problem statement is clear. Uh, let's look at how to solve this. Again, there are two conditions that we need to satisfy. First is T should be a substring of S, a subsequence of S. And the second is uh, the difference between adjacent character, current letter minus previous letter in T should be less than equals to K. Okay, now, first of all, as usual, let's try to simulate the problem. Let's say we take first element. Let's say we take A in our T. So we are building T, right? So let's say we take A as the first element in T. Now, after A, uh, for, like we have to form, like T should be a substring, as a subsequence, right? So every, with every character, there are two possibilities. Either you will take that character or you will skip that character, right? And that's how you will form a subsequence of S. So once you take A, what you are trying to ask is what is the greatest subsequence of this remaining string such that the previous character or the last character that we have taken is A. Okay. Now, again with C, you will do the same exercise. Either you will take it or not take it. Let's say you don't take it this time. Now for F, let's say you take it. So now once you take the F, uh, what you need to find out? What is the, la like, first of all, there you have to check whether F is actually possible or not because this, because of this condition, but let's assume that it is possible by somehow. So in that case, what you need to again find, what is the longest subsequence in this remaining string such that the last character is F, right? So I hope you can see kind of recursion here. So uh, what we are actually trying to find every time is what is the longest valid string possible after a particular index i, let's say i is this, such that the last character is like first, first of all, we need to find first thing I was this, right? Uh, in first case, I was this. And after that, uh, once we go here, like once we take F, I becomes this and this last character becomes F. So that's what we are trying to find. We are, we are trying to find, we are trying to find every time a longest substring, a longest subsequence, given that we are at index I and the last character that we have taken is a particular character F or a variable. 
so every time you are calculating the same stuff but just on a smaller side of the string so in a way you are trying to solve the same kind of problem and hence you the recursion so let's try to formalize it let's say uh, we choose the first character and first character is always a for now let's assume that we will look at it afterwards again so we take the first character now what we need to find we need to find the answer for 1 comma a what is 1 comma a 1 comma a actually denotes that uh, this is the value of i and this is the last character okay so that's that's what f of 1 comma a actually denotes so we need to find out the answer of 1 comma a and what we will do from here we will either take index 1 okay either we will take this or we will not take this so when you not take this like this is let's say this is the not taking part so when you don't take this you need to find the same problem but with reduced size so if you don't take c in a way what you are saying is c doesn't exist at all so you need to find out the longest subsequence in this remaining string such that the last character is a right so that's where you find out f of 2 comma i now let's say you take it so what are the con what is the condition to take it condition to take it is this condition should be satisfied absolute of previous and the current letter should be less than or equals to k so what if you are trying to take it what you will check whether the last character that you have taken here is actually the difference difference between these two is actually less than equals to k or not if it is then only you can take this otherwise this path is not possible at all so let's assume that it is possible let's say the k is equal to 2 so now a and c a, like c is possible after a because difference is actually less than equals to 2 so in that case what you will now try to find is f of 2 comma c why what you are saying is we need to find a subsequence starting from index 2 such that the last index is c because that's what we have taken it right now so this becomes the last index and with this you will add one because this is the length like this is the length you will get from this particular piece right and you have you have said that you have already taken c in the first place so this plus one this plus one in length is because of c you have already taken c in this path so now once you get the value of this and this you will just take the maximum across these two and that would be the value of f of 1 comma a so this you will get like this is the well this is the maximum length if you start with a similarly you will start with c f g b d and take the maximum across all such starting index so let's quickly look at the pseudo code to make it uh, more clear so this is exactly what we discussed for a particular index and a particular previous character so what we have said is if either we will take it so this is the condition to uh, take it okay so either we will take it so if they uh, so what are the condition to take it the condition is absolute difference should be less than equals to k and if this condition is satisfied what you can do you can do answer equals to max of answer comma one plus one is again because you are taking current character f of index plus one comma s of index because what you want is after this index what is the maximum subsequence such that the last character is s of index current character right so this you have taken this character so that's where this becomes the current character similar to how this f of 2c you you have taken this c so that's where c is now the current character now similarly this is the case where you take it and this is the case where you don't take it okay so it is in this case what you're doing is we are saying that we don't like this character doesn't matter at all let's move ahead and try to find the same thing like what is the maximum subsequence such that the last character is a uh, in this particular example so such that the last character is same previous character and you are finding out index plus one so that's where you that's how you find out this value of f okay and uh, like new index to mention you also have to memorize it because you can see clearly this f of index plus one comma previous square 
can be repeated for example if it's a s of index and previous care are equal in that case you will repeat the same query more than once and because of which the complexity will increase so you will save the value of index comma previous character in some kind of map and re return that so memorization is required now this this function takes in index and the previous character but for the first character we don't have a previous character so that's where what we have said is we will try every first character so we will try every possible starting index so we are saying that for every starting index we will assume that that is the first character and because that is the first character this one plus will come and after this first character what we are saying is uh, sorry this should be starting index plus one okay so there should be plus one here so after this first character give me what is the maximum subsequence length possible such that the last index taken is this current character so you will take the maximum across all this and that would be your final answer so just to reiterate how we have reached this solution initially what we have said is we are trying to simulate the problem we are trying to find out with a subsequence and for subsequence there are two possible case either you will take the current character or you will don't take the current character now if you take the current character the next character that you will take only depends on the last character that you have taken so you build out a recursion saying that what is the maximum length of subsequence that you can get if given you are starting from this particular index and your last character is this character now we have seen this pattern repeating so that's where we come up with recursion and after writing down this recursion we have said that okay for the first character we don't know what is the previous character so that's where we have written this for loop in in which we are trying out every possible first character so we are going from 0 to n and trying out every possible first character and just finding out the value of this f of star like f of starting index plus 1 where the first character last character is this character so let's just quickly look at the code so code is exactly similar to what we have discussed just now uh, in our main function we are doing we are iterating over every possible starting index and uh, we are taking it we are taking the maximum ac uh, across all this index saying that if we start from start index plus 1 what will be the longest length of subsequence possible such that the last character is s of start index now this longest string is exactly like is also very similar uh, we have two possible cases either we should take it or we will skip it if we take it uh, the condition to take it is the absolute difference between the last character and the current character should be less than equals to k if it is it is allowed to take it let's and if you take it the, this, this will be your uh, length of the subsequence so if you take it you are taking this first like you are taking one character and after this one character you are saying that what give me the longest string that is possible after this index given that the last character is the current character because you just have taken it and this is one case and second case you will skip it if you skip it you don't matter like you are not caring about the current character at all in that case the last character is not changed because you haven't taken anything so last character doesn't change and just you are saying that i skip the current index let's try to find out from the starting from the next index so hope this solution makes sense and again we are memoizing it so that initially we are initializing everything with minus one and if it is not minus one it means we have already calculated it before and if we have calculated it before we will just return it from here so hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubts feel free to post them in the commentation below i will be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already thank you